Now to high school football for the first round of playoffs in 5A. Muhammad Seymour hosting Ottawa. Ottawa handoff, but it's a huge tackle by Nick Golden for a fumble on the ground. That's recovered by Bulldogs' Brennan Hauser. He'll be put in the throne after that one. Bulldogs leave 7-0 in the first, and Hauser's hustle sets them up for this play. Handoff to Quinton Rogers, and there's no taking him down until he's in the red zone. Touchdown, Bulldogs, 17-0. In the second quarter, Wyatt Baum showing off the arm finds Rogers for a great catch down the middle. And he's going to sneak past the defender there, and he's in for another touchdown. Bulldogs win 40-14. to And 2A, Bismarck heading Rossville. Alvin hosting Westville for a rematch in playoffs. BHRA won in the regular season play, but first quarter, Westville, QB Drew Wichtowski gets it started by running it through the pack to get into the end zone. 7-0 Westville. Bismarck QB Carson Stevenson fakes a pass and throws to Chaz Dubois for a 65-yard touchdown pass tying the game up 7-7. Seven to seven. And Bismarck's going to be at it again. Stevenson shies away from the crowd, finds an opening and passes to Owen Miller for another touchdown. But BHRA wins 43-35. to 35. Now to 4A, Spring Valley Hall at the undefeated Sacred Heart Griffin. Last playoffs for SHG's Ken Leonard. Richard Jackson with a running touchdown for Sacred Heart Griffin and he gets into the end zone for a first touchdown. And then we're going to get here to interrupt Spring Valley gets it in for another touchdown here but the ball bounces off back and door of Spring Valley for SHG's 33 Grand Blackburn to intercept it to set SHG up for this run here Bill Sanders is going to run it in down the line for a touchdown SHG wins 55 to 6 now to 6A 7 to 2 Glenwood hosting Quincy and Quincy's Braden Little with a nice throw to Jarius Rice for a Blue Devils touchdown. Nice move there. Glenwood retaliating. Jackson Nudson with a nearly 30-yard throw to Tyson Randall. He's going to run it in for a Titans touchdown. And now we go Quincy's Jarius Rice. And he's going to be no taking him down as he runs us in for another touchdown for the Blue Devils. Quincy wins 49-42. Now in 3A, Paxton Buckley Loda at Prairie Central. The Hawks score first here. We're going to see Tegan Knox, a four yard touchdown run. Prairie Central in front there, 7 0. But PBL down 14 0 when Alex Jones hits Robert Blackburn here for the touchdown, 14 to 7. But it's all Prairie Central. Drew Fair, a short touchdown run, and Prairie Central wins this one, 57 to 12. Now to 1A, Ridgeview, Lexington hosts number 16, Madison, and it was all ground and pound for the Mustangs early first quarter. It's Logan Friedmaske running it in for a six. A 7-0 lead for Ridgeview. Madison would go three and out on its first offensive drive, giving the ball back to this high-power Mustang offense, this time with the pass, and QB Alex Thomas will run it in there for another White Hill, who takes it in 20 yards for the Mustang score. Ridgeview Lexington wins 47 to 14. Now for boys class 2A Glenwood sectional championship, Rochester versus Glenwood. Glenwood wins 2 to 1. Obviously, 